Alright, in today's video, um, I'm going to be taking this thing apart to figure out what's making this weird noise on this side. Um, I had this charger for almost about two years. Uh, this is an off-brand charger that you guys probably see all over the internet. Nothing fancy, but does do the job, and for the price point, it's a very good unit. And like I said, I've had this for almost two years. But, uh, but the issue I'm having is during the colder months, or the, when the temperature drops, the fan would make a loud, you know, kind of like uh, if you, you had a fan on and you stuck a piece of paper in there. It sounded like something was flapping around in there. Not sure what the issue is. Um, but during the when the temperature is kind of hot, it doesn't do it. So it's kind of strange, but I figure i uh, take you guys along the ride here and take it apart and see what it looks like inside. Let's get out the power here. Now the screws on this particular unit on the back is located on these little pads that you can see that it's actually hidden underneath there. So you just gotta peel these off real quick here. These are little sticky pads looks like. Nothing fancy. All right, now for the uh, correct, use the correct bit to take off these screws, otherwise you're gonna strip them. Now the bit I'm using is a Phillips one. Um, so if you have the correct bit, it will help tremendously. Otherwise you're gonna strip these and then you won't be, able to, won't be able to put them back on or take them off. Let's take a look, see what's inside. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, so it looks like it's kind of neat actually. Um, they have these, uh, they're not soldered in, so it looks like they're made to be uh, replaceable. Okay, so it looks like my fan is having an issue. I am gonna go ahead and replace this. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here and get the new fan installed. And it looks like, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but it looks like there's some grease or some sort leaking in here. So that means this fan is going out. And like I said, uh, that's kind of nice that they didn't solder this in with the clip on. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and get the correct fan and replace it real quick. All right, so I went ahead and ordered this online. You can get it from eBay, Amazon, honestly, just anything that was the same size and the same spec. <clears throat> Nothing special about these fans. Looks like they're just PC fans. But anyhow, uh, this particular fan measures to be uh, 40 by 40 by 10, and it needs a uh, 12 volt for a source. But like I said, nothing. This looks identical almost. Except the blades are a little bit different shape. But nevertheless, I think it'll work. So basically, plug it in, and that's about it. Now you want to make sure that you aim the fan correctly here. So you got the so that way it's sucking the air through this vent going through that way. If you do it incorrectly, the air is gonna be sucked in this way. It's gonna blow through here. <coughs> now, from the factory, the air gets sucked into this intake, and then the hot air gets sucked out and gets pushed out. So you want to put it that. Make sure to put it back correctly. Now, the only difference I've seen is just the cord here. The cord is slightly shorter, and the gauge of the wire is different. But for this application, I don't think it'll cause any issues. Anyways, I'm just folding the wire down out of the way. And we are gonna do a test run here. Make sure everything sits correctly. All right. Now I said that the, this unit's been working great. I mean, it's a knockoff, not a name brand. 
uh, the noise from this fan was just only happening in colder temperatures. So hot temperature, it doesn't do it. But anyhow, let's see if it works. Hmm, it's a little bit quieter. Alrighty. Alright guys, thanks for uh, joining with me today. Uh, just a quick video of... If you guys are having this issue with this uh, charger or the fan making a bunch of noise, that is the problem. So this one is leaking. The grease, is, I guess, has left the, uh, the unit. But uh, this uh, fan that I bought online was roughly about five or six bucks shipped to the house. So, all in all, not too bad. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.